and welcome back. It's your girl Midnight Moon and today I'm going to be showing you nine simple, very minimalistic and easy designs you can do for Halloween using the Dollar Lash Club Aqua UV Cake Liners. So I'm going to be using a few different colors out the bundle and again it's going to be nine different styles of liners. They're not necessarily all going to be on the eyes but these are all fun little looks if you don't really know what to do on Halloween or you just want something really simple. So if you guys are interested in seeing that and seeing how I did this look along with a few others, then make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for more videos. Also, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment below and let me know if you've tried cake liners and if you're gonna be trying any of these looks. If you are, let me know which one. Also, don't forget to share with friends and family so they can learn about these cute little liner looks too and these amazing little liners which glow in UV light. And without further ado, let's get straight on into the tutorials. Put your money on the backseat. Don't give a hell paparazzi, baby. You know they always trying to give me a million dollars at the nice First, I want to mention all the products used in this video will be linked down below in the description, so check that out. Also, I am an affiliate with Dollar Lash Club, meaning if you make a purchase using my link or code, I earn a small percentage or commission with no additional cost to you, and you actually get a discount, so thank you for all your support. Also, real quick, all you need for these quick liner looks are a glass of water, skinny liner or nail art brushes, and your colorful liners. So first up, we have the shades Seafoam and Rose, which are in the pastel bundle this first tutorial is a simple crying fairy look all you're going to do is draw squiggles starting from the outer lower lash line down to just about your chin start with your first color and then transfer over to your second making squiggles in the opposite direction of the first color to create the tear effect these glow in uv light you can even add in some white dots over the cheeks and nose for fairy freckles to make it more realistic the trick to cake liners is the consistency you don't want the liner to run thinly off the brush and not thick where your brush looks clumpy. Try to get it in between and test it out on your hand if you need to learn how to use them first. These liners are also water activated so they will come off in water after applied and dried. The next tutorial is a ghost. We will need galaxy and ice to do this again using the matte black and the matte ice white. These aren't UV activated. Start by making a half circle and then add a tail. Add arms in a triangular shape, then create outlines where you want to place your eyes and nose and fill it in with the white. Also, sorry if I seem like I'm going a little fast, guys. I just want to make sure I remember to put everything in here so that I get the whole description of how I really do this tutorial. Some of you may be people who learn better when they watch like me and others may work better hearing what you have to say. So feel free to do either or. Now we're going to go in with the black galaxy and you're going to use that to color in the eyes and the mouth and outline the body. You can always go back in with whichever color to perfect the lines and in case you want to make anything darker in color you can do that when you're done as well. And this is how it looks when it's finished. The third one is a pumpkin, perfect for Halloween and fall season. We are using the matte black galaxy again for outlining and sunset, which is a UV activated neon golden yellow for the coloring. First using galaxy, create a lumpy circle, kind of like an apple, but a bit wider with three bumps on the top and bottom. Add a triangle at the top for the stem and add a few lines in wide C shapes for the pumpkin's natural creases. Fill it in with sunset. 
To color the stem, mix galaxy and sunset to make a brown shade. I love how this looks under UV light. Unfortunately, during uploading videos to my laptop, the UV pumpkin video couldn't be found. So sorry about that guys, but here's a quick little picture. Our fourth tutorial is a spider web. This is a great October liner look. You just need a black liner, but you are open to using whatever color your heart desires. Start with your basic winged liner, and right under the liner, create a straight short line at the same length. Make two more lines, adding a bit more length, spaced out by a few millimeters, ending at the middle lower lash line. I added a bit more length on the winged liner as well. Follow up by connecting the lines like a web, make small C's in two rows to connect the web. And you're just gonna do that to both sides of the eyes. Sorry about the camera quality. I'm not sure exactly what happened right here, but I hope you guys can see it well enough to do it yourselves. And this is how it looks on both eyes. Our fifth tutorial is a bone. You can draw these all over the face or just as one design like this. Use the matte black and white galaxy and ice liners for this. Start with two same length horizontal lines like an equal sign and then add two lumps on each side with galaxy. Fill in the bone with ice and you're pretty much done from there. Touch up where needed. You can also paint your whole face with the bones like I said earlier. And then you could actually paint all these spaces in between black for a really cool effect. Especially if it's dark outside at night. This one isn't UV activated. But if you guys are interested in the other colors that are UV activated as I've been showing you. You can buy the bundles or the individual ones with the link down below and buy the actual UV flashlight for this. This is the final look of the bone. On to the next one. Now we're doing RIP stones. Using the same colors, ice and galaxy, start by making an upside down U and add dimension. Create another line behind it. Add lumps or misshaped circles for rocks. Add another RIP stone in the back. Doing the same thing with adding dimension. Now you're actually going to mix galaxy and ice to make a gray shade and fill in the stones and rocks. If you mess up, you can always re-outline where needed. Take galaxy and write the letters RIP on the larger stone. Add the periods in and fix any lines. Then lightly throughout the whole piece, add some random lines to make it look old, worn down and cracked. You could even draw some lines in the front to make it look like there's land. And white in random areas to add more dimension and worn out stones.
This is how the final piece turned out. Next up, we have a scarecrow stitch look. All we need is black, so we are using Galaxy again. This look is probably the most simplest you can go. It's nothing but lines. Start with two lines coming out the corners of the mouth. Add five or six short crossing lines for stitch marks on each side. Then fill the inner lips connecting those lines for a dark tunnel effect. These are also non-toxic, so they are safe to use around eyes, lips, areas of the body. From there, make short crisscross lines or X's on the black lip line you just made so the lips now look more horrid. Add some random lines around the face with short stitches connecting to finish off the stitch face look. You can alternate sizes of lines to make it look more real and more scary. This is the final look. Now for my top favorite liner out of this whole nine liner tutorial. This is the slime liner. Do your regular winged liner in black. We are using the galaxy again along with the forest neon green for color. After your liner, start by making connected raindrops and start where your liner ends and finish at the middle of the lower lash line. Proceed to fill in the slime with the forest green color. Do this on both sides and you're done. I'm obsessed with this one, especially in the UV lighting. You can even do this one along the lips, along the nose to make it look like snot just for some really cool effects. Now last tutorial, all you need is Galaxy. Start by creating a winged liner, but don't add the wing. Instead, curve the wing up and over like a horn because now we're gonna be doing a bat. Once you curve and get that point, draw a straight line at an angle back across like this. Make another curved line coming in and down connected to that line we just finished to make the outer wing and repeat the bump twice to where the liner would end on the outside corner eye. This creates the web of the bat wing. Fill it in from there and there you have it. Nine simple, fun and easy cake liner designs for Halloween. guys so that's the end of this video please let me know in the comments down below which one was your favorite and which one you're going to be trying this halloween i think my favorite would have to be this slime one but they're all really fun and cute and very simple designs and if you haven't given this video a huge thumbs up then please do so now and also subscribe and hit that bell for more videos like this also again don't forget to share it with friends and family and we'll be back here again next Thursday, as always, with another video. As always, you guys stay beautifully awesome.